Midjourney just came out with a seamless tile function. Here's how that works, how to test your tiles and how to use them in Affinity Photo. It is very easy to use in Midjourney. Go to Discord, into the chat with your bot or also in a public room if you want to. And there in the prompt, you simply use minus minus tile. This works with every render model for Midjourney version one, two, three, minus minus test and minus minus test P. You can also see here that this works with different ratios. So that is also a possibility. Now I've linked this page here where you can simply drop your tiles into that and check out if if they work. Let me tell you what I mean by if they work. Here you have a slider where you can zoom into and out of your tile. And you can see in this case, the repetition supports the look and design of the tile. So that is a pretty cool texture. Now let's try another one like this one. We have shadows on the left and the right. And as an individual tile, that looks pretty cool. But as soon as we throw it in here, this shadow left and right becomes very dominant and we have these wavy lines. So this is not working for us. What we want to have is something like this, where we have an evenly lit tile that I would like to have in my home because it's so cool. Next, we have flowers here. You can see here, this is pretty good. I can really imagine this as a gift wrapping, really beautiful. When you zoom into it, I just love it. We want to have a little bit of Giga in here with the repetition. It just supports the theme and looks really beautiful. Beautiful. This one is really cool. It's a little bit sci-fi. It's a little bit tacky and the repetition really supports the pattern of the texture. So this works perfect. Now let's go to Affinity Photo. And what you want to do is, of course, first of all, go to File New and create a new canvas in the resolution and ratio that you want to have. After you've done this, I need to warn you from dragging this in here and then rasterizing the texture because this will create a one pixel gap. So this is a big no, no. And here is the workaround on how to get the perfect result. You go to file and open, and then you open up your texture like this one here. You can see when you do that, you get a pixel layer. We are going to select this and then going here to control copy, go over to our other canvas and go to control V for pasting it in here. And then you can resize this any way you want. You don't have to because the next step is the magical step. Hold control on your keyboard, click on the layer. This will give us the end lines, meaning that this is now selected. And here comes the cool part. You go to layer and then to new pattern layer from selection. This will create a new layer. You have this blue rectangle in the middle with these little handles here, and you can use this to zoom in and out. It will automatically repeat, and you can also rotate that to the side. So that's pretty amazing. And the even more amazing part is you can edit this right now with any kind of tool. So let's make a little smiley face. And you see, this is going to repeat in the other tiles at the same time. So you can adjust this. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. That's it for today and see you soon. Bye.